Today, we have the best 30-minute dynamic treadmill workout for weight loss at home. Now, I'm calling this dynamic because we're not just gonna be on the treadmill like every other treadmill workout. We're gonna be getting on and off the treadmill, the dynamic portion being squats and lunges are involved. So stay tuned, I'm really excited about this because we're gonna smash today's treadmill workout in this video. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to today's workout. It's gonna be a great one. I hope you're ready for this. My name's Frank. I'm a certified personal trainer and fitness nutrition coach. My three main goals on this channel is to help you feel, move, and look better through mobility training and nutrition. And today's workout, we've got this treadmill. It's 30 minutes long and it's dynamic because of the fact we're gonna be doing some squats and lunges. So before I get too ahead of myself, as always, please go ahead and click that link down in the description or down in the comment section below if you just wanna go ahead and skip straight to the workout. So today's workout's 30 minutes long. We've got a five minute warm up. okay? This warm up, we're gonna jack the treadmill up to an incline of 10. If you don't have an incline on your treadmill, no problem, we're just doing that portion for the warm up. it's totally okay. But I'm gonna jack it up to 10 and we're gonna walk at a slow speed. If you feel 10's too crazy, maybe do do two or do five. Again, you can be a beginner doing this. You just don't have to sprint when we're sprinting or jog when we're jogging. We're only doing two sprints in the workout. We're gonna be jogging a handful of times for two minutes, but you can go at your own pace. And if you wanna walk the whole time, instead of jogging or sprinting, you can, all right? You can make this a beginner workout. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jack up that incline to level 10, and then we're gonna start walking. And for five minutes of walking, we're just gonna up it by like 0.1 miles an hour. So we could start off at like, two or 2.5 and then make our way to three or make our way from two to 2.5. Then once we do that, then we're gonna start the meat and potatoes of it. We got a two minute jog, we've got a one minute of squat pulses, another two minute jog, one minute of deficit lunge pulses on one side of the leg, another two minute jog, deficit lunge pulses on the other side and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a one minute treadmill sprint and we're gonna repeat all of that again. And then we're gonna close out the workout with a squat, or a two minute cool down, a squat stretch, a deficit lunge stretch on each side and that's 30 minutes. So if you're ready, I know I am, let's go ahead and let's grab that water bottle, let's get hydrated and we're gonna smash today's 30 minute treadmill workout. Alrighty, let's hop on this bad boy or bad girl, whatever you wanna call it. And we're gonna just go ahead and quick start. I'm not gonna start the timer yet. I wanna set up my treadmill. So as this is going, all right, we're gonna jack up our incline. So let's go ahead and jack up our incline. Oh, that's speed. Well, I'm gonna get speed at two. I'm gonna jack up my incline. We're gonna get that to 10, all right? 10 miles an hour. And let's just go ahead and start. So we're gonna start this workout. Here we go. Let me drink some water. Oh, because we got to stay hydrated. And, you know, I'm going to challenge myself a little bit. So, started at two, but you know what? I'm going to do 2.5. Level 10, because I want to sweat with you. This is going to be the real deal. So, I'm walking. This, honestly, is the number one best way to burn fat, is walking in an incline. And if you haven't seen it already, check out my best follow-along workout uh, treadmill workout for weight loss because it's a 10 minute workout. It's got it's a little popular. It's got like a you know, handful of views on there. And uh, I guide you all the way through it. Basically every minute on the minute you go up one of the incline. But what we're gonna be doing here for this next five minutes is we're walking at level 10. This is the best way to burn fat because my glutes, my butt, my hamstrings, they get involved in this so much more. And as you can see, I don't have to walk fast. I don't even recommend it. Walk slow, walk at an incline, okay? And then I'm gonna crank it up just a little bit, point 0.1, okay? Since we're already just doing this for five minutes and we're at a pretty steep incline, for example, I'm just going up point 0.1. Now, it depends on what treadmill you have. Like, this treadmill here goes to 15, so, you know what? Screw it, I'm gonna go at 15, all right? So, we're at 15. But like I said, go at level 10, maybe go at level two, whatever you're comfortable with, okay? So, we're maxed out on the incline here, but this is, this is serious. Like, this is exactly like, you might just do this. If you did nothing else and you just walked at this incline at two for 30 minutes, go ahead and do that. You know, I'm gonna put a lot of these different treadmill workouts on here and you can really mix them up and you can kind of do what you want. Like if you didn't wanna do squats and lunges and you want this to be an upper body treadmill workout, do push-ups in between each set. But this is for the lower body, so that's what we're focusing on, all right? Walking at this incline, it is pretty steep, but I'm up for the challenge. We're bringing it up, 2.7. 
and we are walking. So why I call it dynamic and I call it one of the best 30 minute workouts for weight loss because of the fact we're doing a mixture of things. You know, when it comes to treadmill workouts, you don't always just have to run. And that's why I'm here, because I want to teach you a few different things that we can do just to kind of switch this stuff up. So for example, we're going to be doing some squats with a pulse. It's really going to work the butt. It's really going to work the glutes. We're going to be doing a deficit lunge with a pulse. And if you can't deficit lunge, come off of the treadmill and then just go ahead and do a regular lunge. The so deficit lunge, all we're going to do is we're going to be stepping back off of this treadmill, okay? So just kind of preparing you for what's to come. And like I said, this warm up should definitely warm you up. So I'm at 2.7. I'm going to go up 0.1. And when I finish with this warm up, you can already see my heart rate's getting a little elevated. We're going to be going to that, towards that three miles per hour. So 2.8, just walking. And this whole time as I'm walking here, I want to just think about getting, you know, my feet in alignment. I say this in a lot of my videos because it's really easy just to kind of walk sloppy, right? So my feet are in alignment, heel to toe, paying attention to my stride and my footstep. Because a lot of times we could just walk with our feet sideways and we can build some movement dysfunction issues easily. I rolled my ankle sprinting up a hill with my friends when I was 17 years old. And I didn't really get, feel the after effects of that until I was 28 and I was training with my athletic trainer, doing some heavy squats and my low back was getting all jacked up because my hip was hiked and it was so tight. So long story, but anywho, so pay attention to your stride, how you're walking. And again, you don't have to be at a level 15 incline. Stay at level 10 or below, do what you can handle. All right, I'm gonna go up a little bit more. And so we're at 2.9. So started at 2, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, or no wait, 2.5. Well, I went from 2 to 2.5. 6, 7, 8, 9. So this is the last round. We are almost done with this warm up. Moving on through. And that's why I jacked this incline all the way up and I don't need to go fast. I'm not crazy about power walking. I mean, if you like power walking, cool, but you burn more calories going at an incline. So start off going a little bit slower and go at that incline. Because right now, this is like I'm hiking, right? That's why hiking burns a lot of calories. You're going up hills, hence the name hike, going up. So my heels, my glutes, I mean, every footstep, I feel these hamstrings, it's great. It's really getting the back of the legs. All right, we're gonna get rolling. So let's drop this incline. No incline on the workout today. Drop it all the way down. Increase that speed. And we're gonna go for a little jog. So this treadmill is still coming down on the incline. And so I'm at five miles an hour, okay? If you wanna jog at four, you can. But this is a nice steady pace for me. So we've got a couple of minutes on the clock. Nice easy jog here. Nice and smooth. And we're just, just looking at that, watch those feet a little bit. May, pay, pay attention that they're not going sideways, pumping those arms, build a nice rhythm, build a nice cadence here, just breathe. You might play around with your breathing, inhale. I mean, there's so many different breathing techniques you can do. And again, I'm just kind of spitballing what comes to the top of my mind because by no means am I a runner. I'm not like a big running guy. But I do use it to help me burn off a little bit of fat when I go on trips and things like that. So I just got my timer set. We got the second minute of our run. I'm gonna just stay here at five. Now, like I was saying, I'm going to Germany and the filming of this video, what are we at? Yeah, I'll probably be in Germany when I release this. Maybe I'll be back. I know I'm doing this for August, so. But anyways, I'm going on this trip and so I've already cut down like seven pounds and uh, I don't maintain my same weight all year, okay? Maybe during the summertime, well, not this summer. <laughs> I'm a little behind, but yeah, I stay around in the 190s, like I'm 192, 193 right now. I was 197, 200 for a good part of the year. And I'm probably gonna get to the high 180s, stay around there and then, you know, have Thanksgiving and <laughs> it'll go back up. But your weight can fluctuate 10 pounds or so, maybe 15, not more, much more than that. So, all right, now what we're gonna do a little different, this is the dynamic portion. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the treadmill in just a second. We're gonna get into squats with a pulse, all right? So 
Boom, stop, squat with a pulse. Go off the treadmill, nice and slow. Go low, butt touches, pulse, back up. Your butt doesn't have to touch, okay? But we're just gonna squat and then one pulse. Because if I squat all the way down, butt touching the treadmill, which I can, I can pulse right there and then squeeze. It's okay if the back's rounding a little bit since it's body weight, but if I had, maybe you wanna use dumbbells or weights, just keep the back flat and keep the chest out, shoulders back and come up. When I come up, you can see I'm flexing the quads. I'm not locking out the legs, keep them bent, flex. I'm down, one pulse. I like adding pulses in with like almost everything I do, legs, more booty, right? So we're down, one pulse, coming up, squeeze. And when I come up to the top, I'm literally clenching my butt cheeks, squeezing my inner thighs. Add a pulse, coming up and squeeze. Looking at the time here, we got 10 seconds. So you know what? About five seconds short, let's say right about now. Squeeze, let's come back up. Let's come onto the treadmill. Let's get it going. And then we're gonna go right into our jog again. So let's get the speed going. Oh boy, what's going on? Well, you should be jogging right now, but it's happening, we're moving. I just got, just didn't hit that button quite right away. So start jogging, we're jogging, all right? And now, I'm gonna take this to 5.5. So I'm just going a little bit faster. Because again, when it comes to this, like it doesn't have to be super intense when you're doing these treadmill workouts. And what I'm saying is that I just wanna jog at a comfortable pace because as this workout goes on, I'm gonna be adding to it. So we're at 5.5. And every time I come around, I'm gonna try and up it by 0.5. So we're gonna get two minutes right here. We're jogging. I'm gonna stay at 5.5. I'm gonna come off, we're gonna lunge, we're gonna go to six. And then I'm gonna have a working speed, depending on where you're at. You may stay at four or five. You may stay at four or five at a jog the whole time throughout the duration of this workout, and that's okay. But the point is just to slowly build up to a level that you're comfortable with. So for me, I'm probably gonna get to like seven or eight. And then my first sprint, I'm probably gonna go at 10. And I may attempt 12, we'll see. But we only have two sprints in this entire workout. So again, I'm just onto the balls of the feet. Nice little stride here. If you have to, you can mid strike. I don't recommend heel striking like this or thumping. You wanna be light, right? Be light on your feet. And so I like staying on the balls of the feet. Now, if you feel any pressure in your knees a little bit, maybe you, you start mid striking on the foot. Because sometimes if you're on the balls of the feet too much, there's a lot of pressure in your feet. So you might wanna roll out the bottom of your feet. Look at the link in the description. I have a plantar fasciitis, a foot roller that you could check out. So you may wanna get a lacrosse ball, a frozen ball, a frozen water bottle roll out the bottom of the feet. Next, we're coming off the treadmill. Now you could do this on the ground or come off the treadmill. We got a deficit lunge with a pulse. We're gonna pause, push, step together. Do not have the treadmill moving when you do this, so you can stay on here. We got one lunge, pulse, stepping up together. I love the deficit lunge. It's like one of my favorite lunges, any kind of reverse lunge actually. But when I get this low lunge, I'm going lower. When I'm, my butt is lower than the knee, Lower than that 90 degree bend, I pulse, I come up, I squeeze, can really feel my butt and my hamstring a little bit more. So I'm getting a pulse, I'm stepping up, working a leg. Again, we're burning calories, we're jogging, we're lunging. This is a great way to get your butt, leg, and thighs just working. So I'll even have that butt, leg, thigh, and the thumbnail just to help with some clicks. So that's what people seem to be typing in. But we're just dropping back, taking a deep breath of air, abs are tight. I like the hip hinge. My body weight can stay forward just a little bit. That helps accentuate the glutes a little bit more. Let's see if we can get it right this time. Hit the quick start. Three, two, one. We got a little ramp up period here and we are back. Going back into a jog. So I am gonna go to six. I'm gonna give it a shot. So we got a couple minutes at six miles an hour. Getting in a nice jog. We're gonna go back, we're gonna do that deficit lunge again. And then, and then we're gonna hit a sprint, okay? So, making it happen, making moves. Nice strides here. And now for some of us, maybe this six miles an hour, if you're following along with me, doing my pace, six miles an hour isn't like bad. I remember when I was 17 years old and I was running at six, it was death. It was, this is a 10 minute mile. It was 10 minutes of death. I could barely breathe and I had to fight for every bit of 
living energy I had to sustain it. So it amazes me now that, I mean, right here at six, like I'm not gonna do it, but if I had to run here for an hour, I could totally do it, it's no problem. Cause I used to do stuff like this, like fasted cardio and which I don't really do as much. I do it here and there sometimes, but when it comes to fasted cardio, if you don't wanna eat and you're doing some low intensity exercise, your heart rate's not going through the roof. Yeah, sometimes I'll just drink a coffee, go for a run. Drink a bottle of water first. Upon waking, immediately always have a bottle of water. But, uh, and then sometimes, might have a little bit of peanut butter and some coffee and go for a run. So it just kind of depends. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna sprint now. We got a one minute sprint, okay? So we're sprinting for one minute. I'm gonna go at 10 miles an hour, but you can just Keep walking, keep jogging, or sprint. So we're going for 10. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 I'm sorry. We're going back into that lunge. We gotta do the other leg. Oh my God, I almost forgot. Sorry if I messed you guys up. Here, come down. One pulse, step up together. Drop it down, one pulse, step together. Man, I was just getting like so excited to go sprint. <laughs> and so we're stepping and we're dropping it down. Nice little pulse. Every time, as you notice, I don't lock out my leg. I keep it a little bent the whole time. So keep that leg bent. Again, since it is body weight, I can round my back a little bit if I really wanna squeeze the glute, but I don't, I don't really, if your back is rounding a little bit, it's okay. Cause again, when I'm getting these deficit lunges, I got a little bit of a butt weak. And what that is, is when your low back rounds at the bottom. But since we're body weight, we're okay. Traditionally, yes, chest out, shoulders back. Keep that form ideally. But sometimes if I get a little extra forward lean, I can really squeeze my glute just a little bit more. So working that other leg, stepping, let's sneak in another one. Boom, all right, now, now we got the sprint. So I know this is taken away from it, but we're doing one minute on the minute. So it's not gonna be quite a full minute sprint. It's probably gonna be more like 45, 40 seconds, but who cares? 10 miles an hour, now we sprint. And then after we sprint, we're gonna go into a jog. So here we go, 40 seconds. Yeah, I would say about 40 seconds. If you get that treadmill going fast, it's about 40 seconds. But if you're walking, go ahead and walk. But again, staying on the balls of the feet, pumping those hands, and getting a nice sprint. You know, this is, this is manageable for me. I mean, I could actually talk to you and run this fast, but you know, if you can't run this fast, that's okay. Just maybe go at eight, go at seven. I could do this for a couple minutes, I'm not. So now, as we're coming down, let's go for the jog. This is a challenge. This is the most challenging part of the workout is here, is we're gonna go for the jog. And what I'm doing is I'm going at six. Now, if you have to walk, that's okay, but push yourself here. I wanna challenge you to do your sprint and then go for a jog and try and let your heart rate recover while jogging. If this is mind blowing out of this world, Please, for the love of God, like jump off the side of the treadmill here. If you have to stop for a second or stop if your heart rate is going out of control. But when you do this long enough, this light jog will be your recovery. And that's something I really got a hold of last year during the pandemic, because you believe it or not, that whole pandemic stuff, <laughs> got me to lose a lot of weight. I got in badass shape last year. Like at this point last year, I was like in the best shape. Now I would say I'm even better shape, maybe not as cardiovascularly conditioned because I was just running like three, four days a week because I thought, heck, if there's a breathing disability, a virus that impacts your lungs, I am gonna do whatever it takes to be sure that I am not incapacitated, that my lungs will be as strong as freaking possible. So. If you're here trying to better your health, congratulations. You're literally the 1%. Because people are sleeping. They don't understand how important food is. Food is your medicine, not a vaccine. I mean, if you want to travel internationally, yeah, you might have to get it like I did. It wasn't really by choice. I did it for the greater good for my clients and because I wanted to travel. But, you know, to each their own. If you feel like you have an immune system dysfunction, prone to disease, get the vaccine. If you feel things are good, you have your kids and they're healthy, I probably wouldn't do it, but that's just me. 
So here we go. We're coming off. We got our jog. Stop in the treadmill. We're back to squats. Boom, adding the pulse, pushing those knees out, coming up to the top. A lot of people, I say a lot, but sometimes it's just so oh, squatting. No, when you squat, make every rep count. Get the pulse, squeeze. When I get to the top, my butt cheeks are clenched, my inner thighs, everything is squeezed very hard. I'm squeezing my legs, I'm working the butt, working the glutes. That's why this workout will get your body looking better than the average treadmill workout because we're mixing it up. We're not running the whole time. You know, if you just run all the time and do nothing else, you're gonna have a runner's butt. You know what that is? It's a pancake booty, all right? You're just working your legs and you have no glutes. So work your glutes, do exercises like this. I mean, this is not traditional running. I mean, if you wanna get better at just running, then run, don't do this. But you wanna look better? That's why I'm here, because that's my specialty, it's looking better. So here we go, nice squeeze. Back on the treadmill, we're running again. Now I'm gonna up this a little bit more because I just came off of a sprint. And yeah, I mean, if I wanna be Superman or Captain America or whoever, I could probably get my heart rate back down to like eight miles an hour, but anywho, I'm at 6.5, so I'm going a little bit quicker. Like I said, the only reason in between this treadmill workout that I dropped and I stayed at six was because that's where I can actually regain control of my breathing from sprinting. And that's nothing I wasn't able to do until last year. I'm 36, I'm turning 37 August 10th. So I'm not getting any younger, but it took me a whole 36 freaking years to get my cardiovascular system in the best shape. And why? It was a little virus that was going around. So I was like, why not? You know, you gotta make unfortunate situations work out somehow. You know, I know this hasn't been the best few years for a lot of people, but you gotta make the best of it. Cause heck, even my business in 2015 wasn't doing as good. And you know what? I wasn't on top of things. I wasn't on top of my marketing. I wasn't on top of my just growing, you know? So I took a hit. So for me, I had a pandemic in 2015, 2020, 2021. It was good for me, you know? But I'm fortunate, I've been working hard on my business and on my body. And also spiritually, you can work on that too. They all go together, mind, body, spirit. But you gotta take care of your health. This is the number one thing that you're in control of. And no one's gonna do the work for you, just you. So hopefully I keep track of what I'm doing here. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop off. We're gonna stop this treadmill. We're gonna go in the lunges. That should, that should be right, so we'll see. So getting ready, hopping on off, stopping the treadmill. Boom, we're going into lunges. I like to sneak in a quick rep before the belt stops. So drop, pulse, step together. Tap, here we go, switch. Boom, one drop, one pulse, step together. One drop, one pulse, step together. We got a combination of running, we got a combination of squatting and lunging. My legs, they're getting a little stronger. Well, for me, they're getting conditioned. For you, if you haven't done this before, they're maybe getting a little stronger. I think I forgot a pulse, here we go, boom. One pulse, one lunge. And if you have to take breaks and you can only walk, maybe try these exercises and walk the whole time. Because again, walking is the number one best way to burn fat. But as you get more conditioned to it, if you've been walking for a month, it's time to step it up. Because again, your body's gonna get used to that. And your heart rate zone can get more comfortable with walking where you're not burning as much fat as efficiently. So then you need to up the exercise a little bit, right? Stepping, let's sneak in one more. Pulse. Boom, quick start. So again, you get a little break, there's a little delay. Unless you leave the treadmill running, I'm not crazy about that, especially when doing this workout, I wanna have it off, because I like stepping or maybe I'm squatting on the treadmill. So, all right, we're gonna go to seven. If you're following along with me, doing it with me, try seven, just go for it. We only live once. <laughs> but if you're new, remember you can walk. You don't have to jog this fast, you can jog at four miles an hour or five. But I would say if you're like beginner, intermediate, probably stick with like five, six, four to six. That's a good range. Because four, you can power walk. I hate walking at four. I'd rather walk at three at an incline. But anyway, seven miles an hour, I'm sweating. This is a good weight loss workout. And why? Because you're breathing a lot. And not only are you losing weight, 
but you're tightening and toning your butt and legs. We're, we're actually trying to strengthen our muscle. So I'm gonna keep it at seven. And again, that's even the main reason I titled this video is weight loss because, you know, I gotta play to this YouTube algorithm. When you're talking about treadmill workouts for weight loss, people love it. Everybody wants to lose weight. What's the number one New Year's resolution? I want to lose weight. But what I like to try and teach people, it's not about losing weight. It's about building muscle and burning fat. Because if you focus on weight loss, you're gonna lose a little bit of muscle, maybe you lose a little bit of fat, but we wanna preserve as much lean muscle tissue as possible. So, we're running on through. We gotta do the lunge on the other leg. Getting through this. And then we're gonna sprint. Then we're gonna cool down. It's gonna be all good. Almost there. Get ready, treadmill off. Boom, one minute. Let's lunge, drop off to the side. One pulse, step. Come on, treadmill. All right, maybe one more. Pulse, step. Again, we're lunging, deficit lunge. Nice pulse, nice step together. If you're having a hard time, you could do this lunge and pulse without the deficit, no problem. But again, we get a little bit more glutes, a little bit more hamstrings involved. Stepping on through. So we're almost towards the end of this workout. I hope you've been able to keep up and follow along. Like I said, feel free to message me, comment down below. Let me know how I can help you. Let me know how I can modify this workout. And I really hope everybody, a lot of people get to view this because this is a good one. I feel every new video I do is like a really awesome video or like one of the best ones I've ever done. And so if you haven't seen my treadmill workouts for weight loss series, please check that out. I put it together, a whole bunch of workouts and I think you all like it. That's why I was motivated to make this today because a lot of people want to run. So we're going to sprint. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna hit that quick start. We're going for 12. Let's go, let's go for it. Cause it's only like 40 seconds. So yeah, this is gonna, this is definitely gonna push me a little bit, but if you're not, <laughs> there's no comfort in the growing zone. There's no growing in a comfort zone. So 40 seconds, here we go. Pumping those hands, I'm on the balls of the feet. Hitting 12. Now this is a sprint. <laughs> Woo. Pumping those hands. Nice strides. 20 seconds. Almost there. Getting ready to cool down. Keep running. Do not stop. Push through. 10 seconds. This is where we go hard. We gotta fight all the way through. Do not give up. You keep running. But do not get off this treadmill. Stay on the treadmill, drop the speed. Here we go. Drop it down. Let's cool down. If you're really challenged, let's cool down at six. Okay? Bring our heart rate down at six. It's a two minute cool down. But if you have to walk, please start walking. I really want you to try and walk. But if you can, try and jog. I guess it's like advanced cool down. <laughs> so I'm just trying to push it a little bit. But again, we could do a two minute cool down. You can walk two or three miles an hour, 1.5. I had a client one day, we were doing some sprints. We were doing like, we were cooling down at two. And he turned it down to 1.5. He was dying. But already, my heart rate's recovering. I'm gonna drop it down. And then I'm gonna go to three. I want to be able to talk to you a little bit easier when we're just stretching. So here we go. Now the regular cool down. Woo! Man, how was it? Oh, wow, that was good. It's one of the, well, it was the best running workout I've gotten all week. The other day I was taking my dog Arlo, you might have seen him in some of my videos. We went for a mile run and uh, my legs were having it. I mean, he wanted to go and eat dinner. It was like seven o'clock, but, so I dropped him off, he ate dinner. And I got on my bike and I biked for like 35 minutes. And I swear when I came back from that bike ride, cause I've been working on like eating more veggies, especially at night, eating a lot of vegetables and doing my cardio. And then it was like, after that bike ride, I like, I lost like four or five pounds. And then I put back on a few pounds of water weight and food, but then I permanently lost that two pounds. 
in three weeks, no really weight loss. And all of a sudden, boom, it's the combination of all the workouts and then two pounds dropped like overnight. And we are off. First move, squat stretch. We're right off to the side here, sweating bullets. <laughs> and we're just stretching. You can put the hands on the outside of the feet. If you can't squat all the way down, wiggle. Give it a little wiggle. Some of you may be here on your toes. That's okay. Try and get flat footed. Ideally, if you can't, just go here. Sometimes it's an ankle mobility issue. See some of my other treadmill workouts, we may ankle flexion and then calf stretching right there. All right, but try and go down. And if you do those stretches with your calves, maybe to outside of here, um, outside of this workout, you'll be able to squat down a little bit lower. Maybe bring your feet water, play around with it. Push those elbows against the thighs, sit into it. This really opens up the groin. I love doing this squat stretch. It makes me better at my weight training workouts, which you should be doing, some body weight resistance training at least, because you want to shape those muscles and make them look better too. I mean, it's very important to be pain-free, number one, and we want to look good, but it's not all about losing weight. You got to shape the muscles too. All right, next, deficit lunge stretch or lunge stretch. You don't have to do it off the treadmill. I do like it. Stretches my hip more, so we're off to side of the treadmill and boom I'm dropping down make sure please that you wipe this treadmill down I know I will because I'm sweating all over it as I'm looking at my bullets of sweat dripping on here but I like to keep my hands on the treadmill and I'm dropping I can kind of turn maybe I bring my arm up bring it back bring it behind my back get vertical pull try and interlock my hands play around with it make it make the stretch your own but we're just sitting in here if there's too much get off the treadmill just drop, drop that knee onto the ground. You'll lean into it, open up that oblique. Keep that foot on the treadmill, drop that knee. Rock forward, hand up. Really, I can feel this all the way up into my lats, my obliques. I'm really trying to stretch it out, leaning into it, really opening it up. We're about to switch sides here in just a second. Plank position, kick it back, switch feet. Here we go, last stretch of the day. Oh man, my right hip is so tight. And so since I'm feeling that, that's something you gotta think about is symmetry. So if you have one side that's injured, maybe you nurture that injured side, meaning do some foam rolling, do some mobility, stretch that one side of your leg, stretch the other leg, and then come back and do this one. So normally, I might play around with my, I say play around, I might stretch out my right hip and my quad, my thigh, like an extra minute, sometimes an extra few minutes more than my left, because it's tighter. And I jacked up my left leg, four, three, four years ago, tore my ACL, MCL, never got surgery, but I rehabbed it as best as I could, and it's pretty good. I would say it's like 95%. I can't be a professional soccer or football player, or I need it, I need surgery, because I can't do these hard lateral movements, and I'm not gonna do all that stuff. But I can run well, I can snowboard, I can skateboard, inline skate, so I'm happy. I can bike. And we are stretched. Woo! I hope you enjoy this workout. Man, that was a good one. 30 minutes. 30 minutes on the treadmill, the dynamic portion being, we did some squats, we did some lunges, we hit everything. I hope you enjoyed this workout. It was very lower body focused. And like I said, I wanna just, I wanna make you smart enough that over time, you can start freestyling and creating some of these own workouts. Like that's what I do with my clients. Some clients they've trained with me for like, 15 years, over 10 years. Some people, they work with me for 90 days, get in shape. You know, I had one girl work with me for a month. She's going back to Michigan, going to school. She may come back over Christmas, but it doesn't matter how much this costs, you know? Um, find a trainer near you, invest in a coach. Yes, it's expensive. If it's $30 a session, it might be expensive. If it's like over, you know, if it's $150 a session with me, <laughs> I mean, it's expensive, but you've got to focus on this stuff. You got to put in the time and effort and energy, invest in it, whatever cost it is. When I got my business coach in 2018, it was a second mortgage payment. I was paying like over $1,200, $1,500 a month on average. And uh, I mean, I nearly went broke doing it, but I knew I needed to succeed. I had to go to the next level. And then my income over the past three years, three or four years since did nearly double, more than double, which is freaking amazing. And I'm setting records, but I invested in myself. I took action. I got a coach. I made it happen. I did whatever it took. You know, even now, like getting in shape, training clients, full day of clients, writing online programs, like doing YouTube videos, it's a lot. The other day I woke up at 2 a.m. just to make sure my YouTube video was tagged and edited properly, and then I uploaded it, and then I started training clients from six all the way up until like nine, came back home, ate dinner, like that's a full day. So I, and I didn't work out that day, but got an exercise the day before. Some days I wake up at 4 a.m. 
you know, do my cardio. If I have a client cancel, I get to work out. Like I'm just doing a lot right now, but I do whatever it takes for however long it takes to make sure I achieve my goals, whether if it's in business in my relationship in my, you know, my fitness journey and my anything. So same thing that goes for you applying to this workout, please give it 110% and comment down below. Like, I don't know of many other people that actually have a studio that are training that do this as a profession and or like giving out these tips that can really answer questions. Like I'm not the most popular person on YouTube right now. I'm going to say that at the shooting of this video. So I can answer a lot of questions. I swear I get like at least a dozen comments a day and I, I will comment to each one of you like you are my actual client because I want to help you. And then if you really need a lot of help, like a lot of help, please just click that link down in below. Um, you could do my coaching program. We can get on a call. We can figure out your limitations, some struggles, things you might be dealing with. And for whatever reason, if a link isn't working, just shoot me a comment and I'll reach out to you. You can even DM me on Instagram at Frank Wall Fitness. And then I'd love to be able to help you out. We can chat further and see how you can crush your fitness goals, okay? So thanks for tuning in. Subscribe if you're new here. Click that notification bell so you never miss my latest content. And uh, it was a pleasure uh, doing this workout with you. I hope you'll do it again very soon. And God bless, and I'll see you very soon. I keep on working, got purpose and worth. Music's my cure, and this world is my purse. Get rid of this curse with every reverse. Of course, I've been hurt, but I'm not that much worse. Leave me alone, get out of my head. Walk out the opinions until I am dead. They all go to sleep, but you listen instead. Listen some more, and you'll cease to regret. I keep on working, I got it on track. You're gonna see my name up on a flag. I sail the ship, and I'll never come back. I keep this bitch on the line to attack. Never look back. I make a record like crash. Top of my bracket, I smash. I'm like a pack. I'm about to stack it like cash. 